Welcome back to Pyrite Heart, guys. Let's get started. I may have finally met a real match, yet for some reason, I'm greatly annoyed by this. I can't focus right now. Step out of it, Ahiri. If you lose your head now, you'll be done for long before Friday. You just need to get your head in the books and set up a plan. Gym class is the final class of the day, which is a welcome break after a horrid afternoon. Gym gives me a chance to release my stress with a little physical exercise. And I'm one of the best basketball players in the world, of course. While teaching these plebs a lesson in how to shoot would be a worthwhile endeavor, I grab a ball and take a hoop myself. I need time to think. Okay, I think to myself, as I take my first free throw shot, I've met my enemy today. He is both skilled and smart. This is his territory, and a skill that is not my best. The, the ball swishes without touching the rim. That's what I need to do, a flawless shot at Ryu. It'll be a three-layer cake with strawberry frosting from the far reaches of the world. It will be the most delicious thing that he'll ever have tasted. My cake will be so awesome that I'd be lauded from Paris to San Francisco as the queen of baking. All I need to do is look up a good recipe and it'll be all mine. I toss my ball again, nailing another free throw. Seeing the successful shot brings strength to my conviction. I can do this. I wonder what crazy request Ryu thinks he'll be able to get out of me. He promised that it wouldn't be anything perverted, so it will most likely be something petty like money. Hey, watch out! It takes me a moment to realize that the voice is calling out to me. By the time I turn around, a rogue basketball is hurtling toward my face. Yeah! Owie! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? That hurt, you idiot! Oh, my lady, I am so sorry. Forgive your humble servant. Huh? How did you know who I am? I beg your forgiveness. I was not expecting to lose control of the ball. Wait, Kenta? Dropping to my knee, my loyal butler. Butler? That's her butler? What is he doing here? I thought he was being sarcastic when he was saying that. My loyal butler is prostrating himself before me. Normally, I say this is far from enough for hitting me with a flying ball, but... Get up! You're going to blow my cover! My lady. No, my lady stuff here! Get on your feet before someone sees you! What are you doing here? He stands back up and gives me a sheepish grin. My lord sent me to keep an eye on you, my lady. It's a Hiri! Please forgive me, a Hiri. No, no forgiveness! I ordered you and all the other servants not to come with... Your brother didn't think it was very smart, so he wanted me to stick nearby and make sure you didn't get into any trouble. I'm not going to get in any trouble. That's not what I've heard. Rumor has it that the snobby new girl is picking a fight with the school idol. Nobody is picking a fight with me. I think they were calling you the snobby one, Ahiri. Those low-life plebs, how dare they? That's perfect. Oh, you're not joking around? Please forgive me, my lady. Ahiri! I'd scold most servants who dare speak to me that way, but Kenta has been with me since I was barely able to walk. I decide to let him off with a light wrap to the side of the head. Sorry. You better be. So, it's true, right? You challenge Ryu? So? You've never cooked a day in your life. So? Is your plan to give Ryu food poisoning? That didn't work well when you used it on Lord Darius. That was an accident! I have this contest won, you idiot. If you need help, Ahiri, I can... I don't want your help. I want you and your sarcasm to go back to the palace. I can't. You will. The bell rings, bringing an abrupt end to the conversation. Kenza, the imp, bolts off before I can continue any further. See ya, Ahiri. You can ask me for help anytime you need it. Just go home. He makes me so angry. I don't need his help. I need him to go away and not blow my cover. If anyone found out who I was, the stuck-ups and manipulators would come flying out from the woodwork. My blood is boiling so hot I can barely stand it. Between Ryu and Kenta, I'm going to end up having a heart attack from all this rage. I really want to stay around and play some basketball, maybe see if they have a softball field to bat some balls, but Kenta hasn't bothered leaving yet. He's still practicing with some of the other guys from my class. I'm not surprised that he's already made friends with them. Kenta has that light-hearted charm that tends to get past the defenses of the heart. I guess I could stay for a bit longer and get a few more shots in. Go home, stay and play some solo basketball. Yeah, let's stay. If he's stuck over there, he's out of sight and out of mind. I can have some fun still. 
Which sort of drills should I run today? I'll just start with some basic shooting drills. Each shot as quickly as I can from around the two point area. My first shot is perfect. Perfect form, perfect results. The second shot, while a tad bit sloppier than the first, barely touches the rim as it goes in. As I release the third one, I know I've screwed up. My release was almost a full second past the optimal point. As I expected, it catches the rim and goes flying away. I dart forward to grab it before it bounces into the other court and some pleb tries to steal it from me. Unfortunately, it brings me face to face with the game I'm trying to pretend doesn't exist. Kenta has the ball, sweat glistens on his tan skin as he nimbly darts to the defenders. His footwork is precise and deft. Years of training with me have paid off. He really did pay attention to the lessons I gave him. I'm impressed for a moment. Having a competent servant is always something to be proud of. A glint of excitement flashes through those sparkling amethyst eyes. He's seen what I saw, a perfect chance for the score. His blinding speed and agility let him dodge through the lesser players with a mighty jump. He leaps up, releases the shot, perfect. The game ends shortly with Kenta being the victor. He was good, not as good as me, but I can tell he paid attention in his lessons. Kenta flashes me a victorious grin and comes over. Ahiri, did you see me win? I saw you almost missed the shot. You liked it, huh? I most certainly did not. It was inefficient. I'm glad you enjoyed watching me play. I'm not glad to watch you do anything, Kenta. I told you to go home. And I told you that his highness told me I had to keep my eye on you, Ahiri. Kenta flashes a sterling smile and winks. His charms have helped us get out of trouble in the past, but I'm not going to allow them work on me. I've been your subordinate for years. You aren't trying to tell me to abandon you in your greatest challenge, are you? That's exactly what I'm saying. Go away. Kenta, thankfully, starts to walk toward the door. I think I'm almost rid of the menace when he grabs the ball and starts dribbling toward me. Let's settle this with a game of horse. If I win, I get to stay by your side and help you beat Ryu. If I lose, I'll go home and accept my punishment from Crown Prince Kachiro. Why would I accept such a stupid challenge? Oh, are you chicken? I am not a chicken. Bok, 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 bok. I'll make you pay for that, Kenta. Give me the ball. H-O-R-S-E, an easy to understand game where we have to make the shots that the other player makes. I started off with a trick shot that Kenta can't duplicate from the outside of the court. You're going down, Kenta. Don't count me out in the first letter. Back and forth, back and forth. Either I'm getting sloppy or Kenta has been hiding talent, but he manages to keep up with me, even scoring H-O-R-S on me. He's got the ball again and drops a simple shot from the free throw line. I step up, ready to duplicate it, when I feel Kenta's breath on the nape of my neck. The scent of lavender shampoo mingles with sharp tang of sweat in my nose. Wh what are you doing? Just watching. By hovering over my shoulder? Does that bother you? No, but it does. I keep glancing over my shoulder to see what my servant is doing. Nothing. Every time I glance back, but I know he's going to do something to thwart me. I'm used to being with Kenta, but there's something unnerving with him being so close to me. Focus. Focus. Shoot. Nice try. You cheated! And miss. I did nothing to interfere with your shot. Fine. You still have to make it again. Let's see how you like me hovering over you. I like being close to you. Even though I might as well be glued to him, Kenta sinks the easy shot without a single moment of hesitation. I lost. To Kenta. Looks like I'm going to have to stay and help you. As much as this upsets me, I agree to it. Fine, you win. You better have some amazing cooking skills, Kenta. Nope. What use are you? We'll learn together. I've got practice with the team tomorrow, so let's meet up on Wednesday at the library. You've been here a day and you're already on the basketball team? You should totally join as well. No! That's too bad. I'm heading home to get cleaned up. See ya, Hiri. It is still a victory even if Kenta helps me out. I sit down in my seat, feeling the weight of the world on my shoulders. Last night was not a good night for sleep. I kept having dreams of Friday. I was trying to bake a cake two stories tall, but it was falling apart. I had to duck and dive out of the way to prevent myself from being crushed. I shake my head. I don't have time to waste thinking about stuff like that. I've got two showdowns to face now. I'm not prepared enough for either of them. But there is a lethargy that is settling over me as I look out the window. I know things are going to turn out well, so why do I need to be so worried? 
A puffy white cloud drifts by. That's a cumulonimbus. I wonder if we are going to have rain today. My brain is going at a snail's pace, but there isn't anything that can't get it running. Everything is boring in this classroom. Math class starts promptly when the bell rings. I try to outperform Ryu, but I can't keep up. My arms feel like it's made of lead, and my feeble strength is not enough to lift it. I want to go outside and take a walk. This class is a waste of time. I established my dominance yesterday. I proved my worth, so why do I need to do a second day of it? That's a good idea. I stand up and grab my bag. Is there something wrong, Ahiri? I already know this, so I'm going to go take a walk. I'll be back for history. Suddenly, the class breaks out laughing, and the teacher is shaking her head with dismay. Ahiri, while that may have been accepted at your old school, here you must stay until the end of the lesson. That's a waste of time. Sit down, Ahiri. I recognize that tone. That's the same tone that the lady in waiting takes with me when she wants to disagree with me. So some common teacher thinks she can order me around? Have a good day. Let's see what happens to Ahiri when she disobeys the teacher next time. Thanks for watching, guys.